Hi friends, this is Brandy and I am here for another story behind the stamp for the Next Essentials by Ellen release. I'm excited because this month I've got some kind of different sets uh, for what I've been releasing so far. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of information behind them, a quick overview of what's in each set, and then show you a few of the cards that I've made so far with them. I've been having a lot of fun playing with these sets, so I've just pulled out some of my favorite cards this time to share with you. So I've got three sets in this release. The first one is In the Weeds, and this one's got a great cluster of flowers. Um, it can be used as a floral border, works really well that way. It's also really great um, as a like center statement piece in the card. It plays really well with another set in this release, but also with some of the previous releases, the birds and the little woodland critters and friends. Um, I found that kind of tucking them amongst these big flowers is really, really fun and lovely. I wish I would have grabbed one of those cards to share with you, but um, bunnies and squirrels and things kind of amongst these what make them look like larger than life flowers uh, makes a really fun card to give to someone. And so this set has a number of really great sentiments too. Water what matters. When you're in the weeds, I'm here. You've been in my thoughts. Hang in there. You're really growing on me. So some really simple, uh, supportive, encouraging sentiments that are perfect when you're reaching out to family or friends um, and creating a little something special for them. So this is In the Weeds. And then we've got Be the Change. This one is really fun and I do have an example to pair with um, In the Weeds. The moth butterfly creatures um, are really awesome next to those florals. And this one has three of our winged friends um, in three different kind of sizes and uh, wingspan shapes with sentiments like look for the light, be the change, a new beginning is about to unfold. Lots of detail with these and really fun to color. Um, kind of meditative to color if you're someone who likes the coloring books or something like that. These fall along the same line I noticed when I was starting to color them in. They're also really fun just with really simple um, watercolor behind them. They're good in solid colors or like ombre. I'll show you how I colored a couple of them without having to go into the detail point. So whatever you're in the mood for, the details in these stamps will kind of play up to that. And I think it's kind of fun. I don't know about you, but sometimes I want to get really detailed and color in every little section and kind of lose myself in that process. And sometimes I just don't have the patience for it. So I like a stamp that can go either way and this one definitely can. So this is Be the Change. And then last but not least, probably one of my all-time favorite sets that I've designed for Ellen. I love I love this set. I'm so glad that there was a spark um, and a nudge to create this one. Up in the Air has, and now this is going to go by a number of different names, and I've done all the research about what the difference is, but I don't think it really matters. Whether it's a dirigible, whether it's a zeppelin, or a blimp, the point is, it is a big floating contraption in the sky, and it's kind of amazing. And so this one is not for advertising, I've decided. This one is going to carry messages of love and congratulations and hope and birthday. Um, to the people in our lives. It comes with this little tiny, you'll see kind of like a, a sign here. This can be put right on top of it. You can do it separately or you can mask it and stamp it in there. I've put a number of different sentiments that you can stamp right inside that. And then there's this little tiny um, string with a bow right here that will go on all of the corners. And I'll show you an example of that once it's stamped out. And so you can actually put a sign on that um, on that zeppelin or that blimp um, as it's going through the sky on your card. Some of the sentiments that I chose were flying by to say hi, you're on my mind, up up and away and congrats. I think this would be so fun to give to someone who is maybe um, moving or retiring, someone graduating. Uh, perfect for a birthday, perfect for anyone in your life who is a fan of um, flight and the things that are in the sky above us. So really fun. Uh, to mix it up this time, there is kind of a black silhouette of the people uh, who are watching this go by. And I've got kind of a cluster of different, you know, men and women and young and old all kind of hanging around in this. So that's a really 
kind of fun different perspective and it's really fun to stamp those out amongst these. Just to pair with it so you can create a scene, there's a tree and some different leaf clusters, perfect for making little clusters in the ground or adding more to the tree, and three different birds to fly by and three different clouds. Um, really, really fun to, uh, to kind of build a scene with this set. So this is up in the air. So let me go ahead and show you some of what I've been making with these. So I've got um, two that I've made so far um, that I wanted to share with the In the Weeds set. This one I've stamped out just a black and white of that floral pattern as a border stamp along the bottom. And then added one more up above it. I popped it up with some foam adhesive that I've spent the time coloring in. I knew I wanted a full floral card, but didn't really have the time or the patience at the moment to color in an entire border of flowers. And so it was fun to kind of fill the card up, still have a pop of color, but not need to color every single flower on the page. And I love that combination of black and white and then the color. And I've used the Water What Matter stamp there. And then I wanted to play with just doing a splodge of color. Splodge is probably not the best word, but a wash of color. So I pulled out my watercolor paints and I did something a little bit bolder. I've been really having fun experimenting with neon colors this year, which is not a go-to for me normally, um, but it's fun to play with those in florals, especially if the rest of the card is really simple. So I did a really basic watercolor wash with a few different colors, and then I stamped over top of it just to keep that stamp really clean and clear. And then for the sentiment, I chose You're Really Growing On Me, and because I wanted it to be really cleanly on here but have some personality, I just stitched across it. Um, so I put that little strip of paper with a sentiment on top of the floral, stitched across it through my sewing machine, just with white thread, and then adhered that piece to the card with a little foam adhesive just to give it some dimension. And it was fun. It was very different from the kind of cards I've been making, but it was so much fun and it just reminded me I need to do simple things like that more often. And since I already had the sewing machine out, uh, because I'm someone who makes a whole bunch of excuses for why I'm not using it. I went ahead and used it to play with the Be The Change set as well. I had colored these three different butterfly moths, what have you, um, and so instead of just attaching them flat onto the card, I stitched down their middles and kind of folded them in half a little bit and curved the wings a little. I did a little test and kind of put it inside and outside of the envelope to see how it holds up and actually does pretty well. So I just kind of bent and curled these around my fingers so I got kind of a soft curl. And you can see there's a little dimension there. Really fun to do. And this is a good example of using one or two colors on those wings instead of coloring in every single detail. So what I did was I chose two different colors for each of these and then I just kind of simply did you know I colored with one color the lighter color and then went back in and did some of the details in the slightly darker color almost like shading not quite an ombre because it's not going from one side to the other but it's just a very subtle mix of color but I think it really works so well and I love it again against that black and white floral so this is one where I pulled that floral stamp back in and played with them together and I just think it's such a fun card. It was so easy to make, but I think it's got a lot of personality. And then another one with the Be The Change stamp. This time I did go ahead and color all of the different sections uh, and then paired it with just a solid die cut out. I found that I had uh, some papers in colors that really matched or complemented what was up there in the wings. And so I cut those out of the solid papers at the same time I was cutting this little guy out and then just stamped my sentiment right in them. And I love that sentiment, a new beginning is about to unfold. I feel like that speaks to so many situations. And then I had to do a rainbow. I feel like every time I make a card, I'm like, no, this batch is not going to have something rainbow in it. And here it is. And so to play with this, I wanted to see what it would look like if I did rainbow wings on the outside and kind of the gray underneath. Because you know if this, if these wings were to close up, that rainbow would kind of cover the gray and then when they open up you see it again. So I played with that, created one, made this little mini guy over here, 
and then decided for a background to stamp all three of those in a light gray ink and just kind of create a little flying pattern with these really bold colorful ones on top and that little sentiment look for the light uh, and I love that I love thinking about um, rainbows and the reflection and the light pouring through them and these guys fluttering up the card so really fun to play with that one and of course I have to show you what I've been making with up in the air I've got more of these but these are the two that I wanted to share right away because I think that I can show you the most of how to use this set um, just with what you're given. So you can see here, this is where I've used that little kind of string stamp, um, this one right here, if you can see it, to show that it this sign has been tied onto the blimp, kind of on the outside. You definitely don't have to use them, but that's what that is there for. I know sometimes when I get a stamp set, there's always little detail stamps that I think what is this and am I using it right? So that was that was is that's what it was created for. You know, use it however you like, but it's really fun so it looks like it's anchored on there. Um, and this one I kept really simple. So not just my submarines are yellow, obviously my blimps are too. Um, a pop of some clouds against ones that I actually just stamped and colored on top of the card base. And then that um, that crowd below. For this one, instead of using the crowd, I actually did watercolor and like very loosely painted the trees to kind of make a fall landscape. I've been traveling a little bit around here lately and so I'm constantly in awe of the beautiful trees we've got um, changing their colors before those leaves fall. So I wanted to capture that on the card as well. And I just didn't worry so much about getting in the lines because I wanted it to have kind of an ethereal bit of color on top of those trees. And then I did a gray, silvery um, kind of blimp this time and flying by to say hi, that little sentiment on top of it. And this one I added those birds to. I love those little birds. I mean, I love birds in general. I think that's a given, but I like these little guys flying through the sky. So these are the cards that I have been playing with for these sets. I've been coloring and cutting out a whole bunch of pieces. I've mentioned before that I love to get a little stockpile of new sets, so I always have something to pull and create from quickly if I don't have a concept in mind before I get started. Here's one with the purples and golds that I colored. It, this one was so fun to do. So there's a lot of really fun stuff coming out for this release and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you will pick up the set or sets that speak to you and make something with them and make sure to share it and um, tag the Ellen Hudson account so we can all see what you've made. So thanks for joining me and for all your support. I hope you have a great and crafty day.